looks like we have a couple minutes. So shall we get a little bit of wiggles out? Wiggle your arms, wiggle your legs, wiggle your ears. I don't know if I can do that. Can you stretch way high to the sky? And touch your toes. And touch your nose. And how about your eyes, your ears, your nose, your chin, your forehead, your eyes, your chin, your shoulders, your elbows. You guys do such a great job of keeping up. We're almost ready. Almost ready. Okay, way out to the side. Give yourself a hug. It's pretty cold outside. We might need some extra hugs. How much time? We're waiting for the rest of our friends to show up. <clears throat> How are we doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm a little chilly. It's kind of cold. I haven't worn my long johns. All right. My computer says we need one more thing. Sorry for getting so close. Okay, it's time. Hello, Storytime friends. How are you? It's so great you got to join me again today. It's been really cold all week. Have you guys been staying warm? November's almost over, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a holiday coming up. Next week, it's one where we eat lots of yummy food. A lot of people have turkey. Do you know what this holiday is called? Did you say Thanksgiving? You would be right. I have a really great book for us today, all about Thanksgiving. This is called Thanksgiving Is. I think it's about different ways to celebrate Thanksgiving, but let's find out. That's a really cool picture. Do you see that colorful corn? Okay, here we go. To all those who love Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving is. Thanksgiving is a holiday for giving thanks. In the United States, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. That's us, right? Thanksgiving is harvest celebrations of long ago. Look at these guys. How about these guys? The Chinese baked mooncakes to celebrate the harvest. Mooncakes, do you see them? Thousands of years ago, people had celebrations to give thanks for a bountiful harvest. Egyptians praised their god Min, the, the god of plants and fertility. In China, the people honored the moon at harvest time because it appeared to be at its brightest and perfectly round, and they baked mooncakes to celebrate a harvest. The Greeks, over here on this side, worshipped their goddess of agriculture, Demeter. The Romans goddess of agriculture was named Ceres. They offered the first foods from their harvest to her as thanks. The ancient Jewish harvest festival was called Sukkot. I'm not I'm sure if I'm saying that right. I think so. Sukkot. Was, the first, was first celebrated thousands of years ago and Jewish people thanked God for his protection, for their food, as they still do today. The Middle Ages were from about 450 to about 1450. And during the Middle Ages, farmers in England held festivals to celebrate the end of harvest. Thanksgiving is the pilgrims. Anybody heard of the pilgrims? In September 1620, a group of 101 passengers sailed from Plymouth, England in search of a new home. These men, women, and children were called pilgrims. They wanted the freedom to worship their own way, which they had not been allowed to do before. They crossed the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, on a small ship called the Mayflower. And their voyage was difficult 
they sailed through many storms. One passenger died and a baby was born on the ship. It took that long? Okay, here we go. See this map up here? This is where they landed, the red dot. At last, after a long voyage, they came ashore at what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. And the pilgrims began to build homes. Winter came with its cold winds. The pilgrims had little food to eat, and many of them died. Thanksgiving is Native Americans. Two famous Indians who helped the settlers were Squanto and Massasoit. When spring finally arrived, the pilgrims were grateful. Indians had taught them how to grow the foods that they themselves ate. They also taught the pilgrims how to be better hunters. During the growing season, the crops grew and grew. The fall harvest was plentiful. The pilgrims wanted to thank God for the abundance of food they would have for the coming winter. Thanksgiving is the first Thanksgiving. There was a great feast. The Indians were invited. It was the pilgrims' first Thanksgiving, the fall of 1621. The first Thanksgiving lasted three days. Thanksgiving is a holiday. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed the last Thursday of November to be Thanksgiving Day. This was the first nationally declared Thanksgiving Day for the United States. Then, in 1939, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt made a change and declared Thanksgiving to be the fourth Thursday of November. In Canada, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday of October. Thanksgiving has many symbols. There are many Thanksgiving decorations. In many ways, our Thanksgiving celebrations remind us of the Pilgrim's Thanksgiving. There are pumpkins, turkeys, fall leaves, and other symbols gathered together to look like harvest time. Some homes are decorated. Thanksgiving is family and friends. This is my favorite part. Family and friends come together to share good times. It is time for loving and sharing. Thanksgiving is a Thanksgiving feast. Table, tables are filled with many of the same foods the pilgrims shared with the Indians. There is turkey, stuffing, cranberries, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, cornbread, and other good things to eat. Is anybody else hungry? Thanksgiving is desserts too. There's pumpkin pie, mincemeat pie, bread pudding, baked apples, all kinds of treats. Thanksgiving is giving. Sometimes people send Thanksgiving cards. They may give plants or flowers when they visit others. Thanksgiving is games. Family and friends play outside or go to a game. Thanksgiving is plays. There are plays about pilgrims and the Indians who helped them. Thanksgiving is parades. There are floats, bands, and big balloons. Thanksgiving is sharing and remembering others. Thanksgiving is giving thanks for many blessings. Did you know all those things about Thanksgiving? Had you heard of pilgrims before? And did you know that Native American people helped them? That's pretty cool. So they give thanks at Thanksgiving. And there's a lot to be thankful for, right? Can you think of something you are thankful for? Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your pet. Maybe it's winter. Maybe you love winter and you're so thankful. I have a book that's called Five Little Thank Yous. And we're going to learn about what some of these people are thankful for. Thank you for this sweet, warm home, blessed with family, all my own. Thank you for the food we share. 
made with tender love and care. Thank you for the friends I know who make me laugh and help me grow. Friends is a good thing to be thankful for. Thank you for the love that shines with hugs and kisses all the time. But most of all, I'm thankful to be the one and only special me. Happy Thanksgiving. That's a great thing to be thankful for. To be thankful for who you are, because we're all pretty special, aren't we? Okay. Do you remember in our first book how it talked about other places having harvests and being thankful? <clears throat> okay, I have right here different ways to say thank you in different languages. What do you think? Should we, should we learn about them? In Africa, you would say danki. Can you say that? Danki. In China, you would say xie xie. That's how they say thank you, xie xie. Okay, in France, they say merci. In Germany, they say danke, danke, danke. Okay. In Greece, they say a really hard word, efharisto, efharisto. Okay. In Hawaii, they say mahalo. In Italy, they say grazie. And in Spain, they say gracias. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? That people in different places have different ways of saying things. I think it's really cool when someone can speak in different languages. I really like that. Okay, our very last book for Thanksgiving is about a turkey. Do you guys have turkey for Thanksgiving at your house? We do at ours. I really like turkey. Okay, a turkey for Thanksgiving. Oops. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Mrs. Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Can you guys see that? Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here. Porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, he smiled at his wife. It's nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of the table. Or Mrs. Moose did that, sorry. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet, said Mrs. Moose. No, oh, excuse me, not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time, he called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. I saw one down by the river, Mrs. Goat told him, and Mr. Goat added, a fat one. The goats leapt, from down, leapt down from their porch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up this hillside, looking around as a fur, fur ball, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Does he look like a round fur ball? Is it dinner time, he bellowed. 
First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, Sheep called. Wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said, and put his quills down. We're off to get a turkey for Mrs. Moose, Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who would want to pick you up, Sheep asked and laughed, his bleat of laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. They saw a turkey's nest right away. No turkey here. Do not disturb. Come back after Thanksgiving. Turkey himself was peering over the top of his nest. Turkey, turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ah! Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey ran faster. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. He helped Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go. It's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this, for I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said. But I must insist, a promise is a promise. <clears throat> there was a wreath of dried fruit on Moose's door. Inside the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid Turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine. And ta-da! He pushed Turkey around in front of him. For you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you, Turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we sit? Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Mrs. Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, and look. I brought a chair from the other room in hopes of a turkey. Uh, a chair? stammered the turkey. Right next to me, Mrs. Moose said. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves, thin and pale, as new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I'd taste. Heavens, no, Mr. Moose smiled his big tooth smile and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey. That was a pretty great animal story. Well, friends, what do you think you will do for Thanksgiving? Will you come up with something to be thankful for? Will you play games with family and friends? Maybe you'll make some crafts. Whatever you do, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. There won't be any story time next week because we'll all be enjoying our Thanksgiving with our family and friends, right? So I'll see you in two weeks and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye for now.